Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today we are going to use our rainbow colors and some shapes to make a caterpillar. Let's get started. What you will be needing today is a piece of paper, something to color with, I'm going to use markers and crayons today, and something to draw your picture with, I'm going to use a pencil and I have an eraser. Today we are going to draw a caterpillar. I'm going to turn my paper so it is long going horizontally from left to right so I have more space to make my caterpillar nice and long. I'm going to get started drawing with my pencil and we're going to make our caterpillar out of circles today. So I am going to draw seven circles on my paper to make my caterpillar's body. So I'm going to start with one circle, then I'm going to add another circle. I want my circles touching so that my caterpillar's body is touching. I'm going to curve my caterpillar's body so it's going up in the air. So I am just moving my circles up towards the top of my paper. That is circle number six, and one more is circle number seven. You can do more circles if you would like to make your caterpillar longer, that is okay. I'm going to stick with seven, so I have a head and six more circles left to do my colors of the rainbow. On my caterpillar's head, I'm going to add a nice big eye with an eyeball by drawing two more circles. And I'm going to give my caterpillar a nice smile. My caterpillar today is going to be walking along a branch. So I'm going to do a straight line going across my paper. And then another straight line going back. If you want any more branches coming off of your first branch, you can just draw those by doing two more straight lines going in any direction. I might draw two coming over there. Now we can add more details in our background. If you want any leaves coming off of your stick, you can draw those. I'm going to put a sun in the sky by doing part of a circle and some straight lines but you can decorate your background however you would like. I'm going to leave my picture this way. I like the way that it looks. I'm going to use a dark colored crayon to outline my drawing. That means I'm just going to go over the top of my pencil lines with my black crayon to trace over them so they are easier for me to see. You can use a marker to do this or you can use a nice dark colored crayon like I'm using. We just want to make it easier to see what we just drew with our pencil. Now, if you didn't trace your picture perfectly and you can still see some of your pencil lines, that is okay. You can try and erase them with your eraser or when we color, it's going to cover right over those and you won't even notice them. I am going to use my markers today to color in my rainbow caterpillar's body. So I'm going to start with my red marker because red is our first color of the rainbow. With my red marker, I'm going to color in the first circle of my caterpillar's body. So this isn't the head, it's the one next to my head. And I'm going to color that in red. You don't have to use markers for this. You can use crayons or colored pencils or whatever you have to color your picture in. My next color in the rainbow is orange, so I'm going to take my orange marker and fill in my next circle with orange. The next color is yellow, so I'm going to do my next circle with yellow. I'm being extra careful as I'm coloring to make sure that I'm coloring inside the lines as best as I can by going nice and slowly back and forth inside my circles. After yellow, we have green, so I'm going to do a nice dark green there. And then we have blue.
And our last color is purple. If you added extra circles on your caterpillar's body, you can color those in whatever colors you would like. Now I can color in the head of my caterpillar. Your caterpillar's head can be whatever color you would like. I'm going to use a green for my caterpillar's face. And I'm going to color around my eye and just fill in that last circle. And now my caterpillar is all nicely colored in. And now for the rest of my picture, I'm going to color with some crayons since I have more color choices to do my stick, my sun, and my sky in the background. I'm going to take a brown crayon and color in my branch that my caterpillar is crawling on. And I'm just coloring nice and slowly back and forth and inside the lines as best as I can. I'm going to color my sun in yellow. Your picture does not have to look like mine. You can color your background in however you would like. I'm doing a nice sky blue background for my caterpillar so it looks like it is climbing up on a tree branch very high up in the sky. If you want to add clouds or birds or planes or rainbows or whatever you would like, you can add those in the background too. And that is my rainbow caterpillar picture all finished. So we practiced drawing circles today that we're touching to make our caterpillar's body. We drew seven circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven circles to make our caterpillar. So we had one circle for the head and six circles for our different colors of the rainbow in rainbow order going red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. When you finish your project, you can save it for when we go back to school. If you would like to share a picture with me, you can do that in the easiest way you can, whether that is email or Google Docs. I would love to see what you make. Try your best, have fun, and get creative. Bye!